Hello everybody, good evening. Uh, through an Italian here, I hope you recognize me. From other videos like, yeah, come on, stop the stupid Troy McClure routine. Uh, back to topic. I wasn't at the topic. Let's get to the topic, shall we? Um, I just found a video at the channel of QI Ranger. I put the link to his channel in the info box. You might want to open the info box, by the way, already, because there's going to be some more stuff in there, and it would be, yeah, it would help if you if you read along. It is he put he put a video about uh, a test that he made. A test was sent to him by his brother. It's, it's such kind of a, a little psychological test with. With ten questions, several possibilities to answer, and for every answer you get points, you get credits, and, uh, and they sum up to to a result. And uh, due to this result, you then get uh, some kind of a short psychological profile of yourself. It might be fun to just go through these questions and see where you're at, and whether it fits or not. And by the way, I would be interested in how the test worked out for you. So either put a comment here on my video with uh, the result that you made and uh, also if you think that it fits or it doesn't fit or it fits a little bit uh, and uh, if you if you like then make a video just like me and put it here as a video response this would be even more fun uh, to see you live uh, dealing with the questions and uh, yeah I would like to to see you uh, and and hear you and yeah so get your results here are mine. I just go through the questions. Question number one. When do you feel your best? A. In the morning. B. During the afternoon and early evening. Or C. Late at night. Well, those of you who know me know that late at night basically is my time. Uh, it has been always so and even more extreme since I am here on YouTube, uh, a little bit active, uh, commenting and, and uh, answering messages, etc. Due to this time zone concept that the world has, um, this night time is basically a very good one because America is, is um, yeah, you know, they, they still have earlier day hours when, when I'm sitting here and maybe in New Zealand it's already noon and so I'm kind of stuck in the middle and so late at night is the best time for me. C. Answer C. Question number two. You usually walk A. Fairly fast with long steps. B. Fairly fast with little steps. C. Less fast, head up, looking the world in the face. D. Less fast, head down. Or E. Very slowly. Well, for me, basically, it is answer C, less fast head up, looking the world in the face, but also with uh, my headphones on and good music from my iPod, so maybe I'm looking at the world, but not exactly always hearing everything, but I hear enough not to get uh, caught in some fatal traffic accident. Kaboom. Toy, toy, toy. Um, yeah. I don't want to push my luck. So, moving on to the next question before I get, get myself into trouble. Uh, question three. When talking to people, you A. Stand with your arms folded. B. Have your hands clasped. C. Have one or both hands on your hips. D. You touch or push the person to whom you are talking. Or E. You play with your ear, touching your chin or smooth your hair, etc. Well, uh, for me, it's somewhere in between C and E, but more C, because usually I tend to listen to the people and I want to be, I want to concentrate, and so, um, yeah, the, the other things don't work for me, so basically it is answer C, have one or both hands on your hips. Question four, when relaxing, you sit with A, your knees bent with your legs neatly side by side, yes, because I am Doris Day. B. Your legs crossed. No, I'm not an Indian. Um, no, no offense though. Um, just a little stereotype. Once in a while. C. Your legs stretched out or straight. Not so much. Or D. One leg curled under you. Basically, this would be my choice. Um, it's nice. Question number five. When something really amuses you, you react with A. A big appreciated laugh. B. A laugh, but not a loud one. C. A quiet chuckle. Or D. A sheepish smile. Um, well, we can rule out C and D completely for me. And uh, um, basically, when I'm amused, I do not have to laugh out loud, but I am amused. It's more on the inside, and maybe something cracks, really cracks me up, and then it might get a little loud. So basically, it's answer A for me. Question number six. When you go to a party or social gathering, you A, make a loud entrance so everyone notices you. 
B. You make a quiet entrance, looking around for someone you know, or in C, you make the quietest entrance, trying to stay unnoticed. Well, I'd say, um, C, if I, if I did that, I would ask myself, why am I here for in the first place? Um, number A, uh, answer number A, no, not for me, it is answer B, because uh, if I go to such a thing, which doesn't happen so often, I'm not so much a party person, um, I, I think I, I look out for someone I know and have a nice conversation and maybe meet other people. So, answer B. Mm, question number seven. You are working very hard. You are concentrating hard and you are interrupted. How do you react? A. You welcome the break. B. You feel extremely irritated. Or C. You vary between these two extremes. Yeah, basically it would be C for me, depending on what I have to do and, and uh, who it is who uh, interrupts me. Yeah, so it is C. I vary between these two extremes. Question number eight. Which of the following colors do you like the most? A. Red or orange. B. Black. C. Yellow or light blue. D. Green. E. Dark blue or purple. F. White or G. Brown or gray. Well, uh, although I do not look like it today, but this is really coincidence, black answer B is my favorite color and you notice this in other videos of mine where you can barely see me because everything is black and the light is low so black it is for me purple is okay dark blue but black is is the color of choice question number nine when you are in bed ooh, at night in those last few moments before going to sleep you are a stretched out on your back B stretched out face down on your stomach C uh, on your side, slightly curled, D with your head on one arm, or E uh, with your head under the covers. Well, with E I would n better not because suffocation is done so easily, not for me. Mm, so basically, now for me it is stretched out on your back. I wonder at this myself because um, not so long ago it still was something between on your side, slightly curled, and with one head on one arm, but now kind of I go to bed and I lie on my back and I'm gone and next morning I wonder it happened again and so for me it is answer A and final question number 10 you often dream that you are A falling B fighting or struggling C searching for something or somebody D you are flying or floating E you usually have a dreamless sleep or F your dreams are always pleasant well um Kind of, for me, it would be answer C, searching for something or somebody. Um, whether I find this something or somebody, mm, yeah, that's a different story, but the, the searching factor is, is uh, the, the, yeah, the most prominent one. Uh, so I then uh, added up my, my results for the, for the questions, and uh, yeah, now I need the document because I don't remember the number. I had a total of 53, and if you now check out the info box, and there is this listing which um, a point, uh, which which sum um, uh, equals what psychological profile, and uh, I'll read you my profile now. It is 51 to 60 points. Others see you as exciting, highly volatile, rather impulsive personality, a natural leader who is quick to make decisions, though not always the right ones. They see you as bold and adventuresome, someone who will try anything once, someone who takes chances and enjoys an adventure. An adventure. Hmm. They enjoy being in your company because of the excitement you radiate. Well, I kind of basically can say not bad, quite a few hits, and uh, it, it corresponds well with my Chinese Zodiac the Dragon, which is kind of similar there and uh, yeah I, I like the the thing quick to make decisions uh, though not always the right ones yeah that might be true and uh, I think from from your mistakes you have the possibility to learn or uh, if you <laughs> like your mistake you can also make it again and get into trouble more than once and uh, um, whatever comes from it so this was my result 51 to 60 points 53 uh, I'd like any kind of uh, response here, as I said, as a comment or also as a video response. Surprise me. Okay, wishing you a wonderful evening, night, uh, morning, whenever you watch this video. Signing off, true Italian, at your service, as usual. And where's the stop button? Always happens to me. Three, two, one, click. Huh?